Okay, well, welcome back. Um, in uh, this video, what we're going to be doing is prepping this uh, brand new crown, crown molding here. Um, and as you can see, it goes all, all the way down and down and around. Um, and also, if, if uh, you look down, they also got uh, a chair rail in, installed with the, uh, with the uh, box patterns. And those are great because they just act, can add depth to, uh, to uh, any room and they just dress up a room. Whereas if you, if you just had bare, bare, bare walls and uh, just the um, baseboard. So it like really just makes the room look more elegant. Um, so I have my uh, caulk gun here and it's very important to use a uh, good caulk. Yeah, 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 especially because there are gaps that are above the crown and below it here, and um, and that is because the uh, the uh, walls aren't perfectly um, flat and level. So you're uh, you're uh, going to have areas where there are bigger gaps, and these gaps need to be filled um, at least two to three to uh, even four times, um, depending on how big the um, gap is. And with crown molding too, crown molding is going to move because it's 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 attached not only to a one wall but this wall up here, the uh, ceiling. So it's nailed in to uh, both the wall and the ceiling here. And um, and as the house shifts, so don't the walls and like the ceiling. So it is going to move, and it is wood, so it will contract and expand uh, in the spring and fall. Um, so so you just definitely want to use a uh, a good caulk and. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here and uh, work my way down. Now I have the uh, caulk gun tip cut at a 45 degree a angle. It's not really that big of a hole there, but it's not that small. It's like right in like the middle here, so you don't want to um, press it and have a lot come out. So it's just it's like a great way to control the uh, the outflow of it. So I'm just going to bring this here and I'm gonna, uh, and I'm going to work the tip in like the corner here. And with my right hand here, I'm just going to apply a little bit of uh, pressure and work my way down. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my finger here and press in to uh, force the caulk into that gap there. Now, you don't want to put so much caulk on there that when you take your finger um, and draw it along, it gets all over the crown. It's better to do um, a, a thinner coat and, and wipe it down and then let it dry than, than, than it is to, to uh, put a bunch of stuff up there and then take it down because it just may, may, makes a mess. Um, and and uh, what I do is I put the, uh, the uh, remnants right on here, here. So, and so that came out there, so I'm going to put it there. Now I'm going to caulk the uh, lower half of this. And once again, take my finger here and work it in there and just press down. Now, I kind of did too, too much hair and it, and it left like a ridge here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my middle finger here and work it back into the crack there and then go again with it. And that way it's totally smooth and, uh, and it's smooth on, on like the wall here too because you don't want to create a ridge there because then when you go to paint, you'll be able to uh, see that ridge. So you always just want to work careful. Um, and if you're not comfortable just using your hands, you can always use a, a wet rag too. That helps too. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to start over here again and then work my way down here. left on my finger and I put it there and then I come over here okay now I'm pretty ha happy with that um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just move this ladder here and work my way into the corner And that's what's left. I'm 
right there. And again, I, I put a little too too much hair, so I'm going to take my middle finger and and I'll work it back in there, uh, and then take it and go like that. And that way, it's it's up perfectly smooth, and there's no rid, 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 ridge line. Now, in the corner here, you're all you're always going to have a uh, a large crack there. Um, so, like the uh, main thing to do is just just to apply like a little bit of pressure, and just to go kind of slow with it. So. So that takes care of the top. Now for the bottom here, I like to turn it upside down and go up with it. And then for here, just go down like that and just kind of slowly work it. So I'm going to take my finger here and push it into that. And when you do down here, the caulk will, will move out to here or here. So you just take your finger and wipe it out, out there and out there and that takes care of uh, that corner and then up here there's a wide crack here so what I'm going to do is uh, is I'm going to move the gun more slowly there so that it works it in there and now the depth of the crack is getting thinner so I'm going to speed up wipe it and then come down here to the bottom. So now there's some remnants that went onto this board here. So I just take my pinky and then wipe it down. And that gets rid of that. And then down here. And that is what is left on, on, on my finger here. And um, there is a, a line here. And I got some on the, on the underside of, of where this starts the uh, concaveness. So I'm going to wipe that first. And that's what came off there. And then I'm going to come down like this. And that's what came off there. And now I'm going to do one last swipe. And uh, that's perfectly smooth there, um, and there's no and there's none of the remnants on at the bottom. Now, if you get the caulk on like this, but this uh, bo this uh, bottom half right here where it's uh, concave, it's fine. Just take your finger and wipe it off. Don't leave it there so like it dries, because if it dries, it's so much harder to to uh, remove. Um, so I'm just gonna move my ladder o over here now and take care of this large gap up here. And for, for uh, these long ones like here, um, I, I figure that I, that I press in with my right hand probably for like four seconds and then, and then release it and then repress it again. <clears throat> so now I'm going to wipe this. And then take my finger here and work it back into the corner on, on uh, that side. And you can see what came off there. And now I'm going to take my finger here and drag it across the uh, ceiling. And that is what came off there. So that one is all set. I'm going to clean up my, 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 my hand again and the tip here. And then work it right here. And then go down it. And it's important to go back into what you did so that you don't uh, create a, a line in the caulk there. So there's a little bit that's on this surface here. That's what came off. And now I'm going to start down here again and go into it. And I'm going to work my way into the corner here. Um, there's not too there's not too big of a gap here, but it does get slightly larger here. 
So uh, when I get to this point, I'm going to slow down the uh, speed of my draw here. Now that one didn't leave any, 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 anything on this or this, so we're fine with just that one swipe and that's what came off there. Um, now in the corner here, I'm going to work it as far into the corner as possible because there's this that is obstructing my view here. turn the caulk going all upside down here to work it as low as I can go here. And down here below, I'm not quite sure if the camera can see it, but I, I can't get the caulk gun in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some on the tip of my finger here and work my finger in there. And then once again, clean off the sides here because it will go outward there. Now, this over here, this board has been previously caulked, um, so this is dry, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to apply the, uh, set the uh, second coat of the caulk, and there's a, there was a really large gap that was right up here, and you can see how it dried. It, when when uh, this stuff dries, it shrinks, and it, and it, and it gets tighter, um, and it shrinks, so you're, you're, you're going to have to caulk it like two, like two or three times. Um, so what I'm going to do is re this. And here's a large gap, so I'm going to go slow there. Now, if you feel that you that what that when you start your your finger and you you have too much on like your finger and it's just going to create a mess, stop what you're doing, clean it off and then start up again. Now I have a, uh, a little bit too much, so I'm, I'm going to stop and I'm going to clean it again and go into the corner here and wipe down. And, uh, and that is perfectly caulked. Now this area right here is going to need to be caulked uh, one or, per or perhaps two, two more times. Um, because what you, what you want to do with the caulk is you is is you want to create a yeah, smooth surface so that when you look up in in into it wherever there was those areas where there was gaps or it was concave the caulk here is going to fill in those areas and make it seem like the whole wall is a uh, level so that when you go to paint you'll you'll see a straight line um, so it's very important to uh, to uh, caulk this right um, so that after this is all done, the walls, when you make your cut line, you'll have a, a straight line and it won't be warped. Um, so we're just going to let this dry and then next I'm going uh, to uh, start to uh, fill in the uh, holes with my one inch blade. <laughs> 